What celebrity death seems a bit too suspicious? Ken Lay, former Enron CEO, was declared deceased in Aspen with his family right before he was going to serve his sentence. Cremated and buried at an undisclosed location. Dorothy Kilgallen, reporter and TV personality, died under mysterious circumstances while investigating Kennedy's assassination. Jill Dando. She was a British TV presenter. News reader and journalist she was shot on her front doorstep and it's never been solved. Also Dr. David Kelly. Not exactly a celebrity, but he was a known public figure. He was a weapons expert that supposedly killed himself shortly after saying that the report on Iraq's nuclear weapons had been fudged. Brian Jones of the Rolling Stones died under suspicious circumstances while swimming. The person he was swimming with a contractor working on his house who Jones had accused of stealing from him supposedly confessed on his deathbed to killing Jones. Haing Nagore, Oscar and Golden Globe winner for the Killing Fields. Cambodian and former prisoner of the Khmer Rouge. Tortured and imprisoned in Cambodia. Murdered outside his home in Los Angeles. His family thinks it was revenge from Cambodia for his outspoken support for human rights and bringing people to justice in Cambodia. George Reeves. The guy who played Superman in the 50s. There were a bunch of people in his house the night he died. And a lot of conflicting stories. Also he was having an affair with a studio execs who was in attendance with his husband that night. Also forensics disagree with the testimony of the witnesses. It's all a clusterfuck. Natalie Wood. Brittany Murphy for sure. Nicole Brown Simpson. From what I hear, her ex is still trying to find the real killer. Dorothy Kilgallen. She was an investigative journalist and game show panelist on What's My Line. She was digging into JFK when she died of an overdose. Her manuscript on JFK was taken by the Gov and will never see the light of day. Y'all it would be nice if you include your reasons and not just post a name like we're supposed to. Know all about it. Didn't John McAfee get whacked tattooed on himself for some shit just before he died? I may be wrong. Marilyn Monroe's death. Elliot Smith. Arguing with his girlfriend and then when she goes to take a shower in the middle of their argument. He suddenly decides to stab himself twice in the chest with no hesitation wounds. And of course she pulled the knife out before calling 911. And I think I've read she has exhibited so weird behavior before and since. Epstein Whitney Houston and her daughter Whitney's autopsy shows that she had defensive wounds maybe it wouldn't be as suspicious if her daughter wasn't also found unresponsive in a bathtub. I remember hearing about Michael Jackson saying people were following him not long before he died. But that could be due to mental health problems drug use. Not a celebrity but a notable person Lee Harvey Oswald. Yevgeny Prigozhin's flight crash. Dorothy Kilgallen's death has got to be one of the most suspicious. There are many who feel she was about to break the real story behind JFK's death. But then suddenly she was dead. Not a murderer death and not really a celebrity but. Where is Shelley Miskovich? Ivana Trump. Ivana Trump. On the eve of her non-disclosure agreement about her marriage, divorce, and what she knew about the Trump business set to expire. Why was her casket so heavy? I firmly believe Martin Luther King was not killed by James Earl Ray. Elliot Smith. Tupac and Biggie Smalls. Sam Cooke. Elliot Smith. Suicide by stabbing himself twice in the heart. Kinda fishy. Gary Coleman. Did his ex-wife push him down the stairs? Gary Webb author of Dark Alliance. 
The explosive series of articles in the San Jose Mercury News in 1993 that exposed the CIA operation to finance the war in Nicaragua with cocaine money. Cheap cocaine flooded the streets of America and started the crack epidemic. His article was attacked by the mainstream press. He lost his career and reputation. He committed suicide in the early 2000s and was found to have two self-inflicted gunshot wounds. Corey Hyam. Never sat right. JFK. CIA 100 killed him. Princess Diana. I'm not sure but I'm pretty sure that O.J. Simpson killed his wife. Elliot Smith. Brandon Lee. So many weird little things surrounding the way in which he was killed. Heath Ledger's was a bit suspicious. Anna Nicole Smith. Jean Spengler. She is assumed to be dead but has never been found. It was suspected that Kirk Douglas was involved in her disappearance. Andy Warhol's death was an incredible case of medical malpractice. And there's some evidence that the nurses who overloaded him with IV fluids did it on purpose. Mr. J. H. Christ. Dies. Then comes back then goes down to the gas station for some milk and never comes back? Sounds like a con. Bob Saget. Bob Crane. I would be very happy to find out Robin Williams is really playing Ms. Doubtfire permanently. Not really caught up on it but I remember seeing a few videos online a while back about how Brittany Murphy's death was supposedly suspicious. Edit lol really annoying that the top comment is exactly what I said when I posted it first but oh. Well. Ivana Trump. Trevor Moore. Posted wild stuff his entire life and ended up falling of his balcony. Whitney Houston's daughter. Michael Jackson. He was excited and telling everyone he his contract with Sony was going to expire so he could be free. Michael was pretty vocal for years with how much he hated being under contract with Sony. Shortly after was when he started to get sick. He would tell those close who visited him that he didn't trust the doctors and that his record company was trying to kill him. Wouldn't you know? Michael dies shortly before his contract expires. And Sony kept the rights to all the music he made under them. David Carradine, Bob Crane, Kim Porter Diddy's BM. I know it happens. But it's just crazy for a 45 years old otherwise healthy person dies randomly from pneumonia. Anne Hesh Twitch, Brittany Murphy. Not necessarily a celebrity but someone of some importance in the media. Especially sports media. Earlier this year, Andrei Michkov, father of highly anticipated NHL prospect Matvey Michkov, was found dead. The official cause of death was not released. The Michkovs lived in Russia. And many people suspect that the Russian government may have had something to do in Andrei's death. Y'all should look it up. Op is going to be a suspicious death after this post. Jeffrey Epstein. How Ghislaine hasn't followed that path yet is a shock to me honestly. Wagner's boss. The fella that ran Wagner.